We are going to start anatomy from the lower limb. I myself consider it easy to study anatomy f starting from the lower limb because I think according to my experience the lower limb is much more is easier than the upper limb so we will start from the bone features of the lower limb. The first bone uh, in the lower limb is the hip bone. So today's lecture is basically on the hip bone. The hip bone is made up of three different bones, ilium, pubis and ischium. Hip bone is also called innominate. Hip bone is made up of three different bones, the ilium, the red part, the ischium, the green part and the pubis, the yellow or the light green part, this is pubis. This part is pubis and this part is ischium and this whole part is ilium. So the hip bone is also called innominate. There is an other name of, for the hip bone which is innominate. It is written here. So we will now study the bone features of the lateral surface of the left hip bone. This is a picture of the lateral surface of the left hip bone. So first of all, we'll study the bone features of ilium. There are 13 basic main bone features which we have to learn. This number 5 is anterior superior iliac spine. Look, this is anterior superior iliac spine while this number 4 is anterior inferior iliac spine. Now, this, this number 10 is the iliac crust. This over here, the part over here, this, this part is the iliac crust. You can see the number on the screen. The 10 is the iliac crust. While this 28 is tubercle. This, this, this is a rough surface. This is a tubercle here. This is to be, this is known as tubercle of iliac crust. While this, this part and this part are same. This part and this part are same. You can see it on the screen. This is iliac crust while this is tubercle of iliac crust. This number 5 is superior iliac, uh, anterior superior iliac spine and this is anterior inferior iliac spine. Over here the number 23. The number 23 is posterior superior iliac spine. Like I told you before, this part is posterior and this part is anterior. So this is posterior superior iliac spine here, this part and over here this is posterior inferior iliac spine. <clears throat> this line over here, this line you can see, the number 21, this line over here is posterior gluteal line here is anterior gluteal line over here the number three you can see on the screen over here there is line or a border just like this like this or something there is a line over here this this number three there is a line in between this is anterior gluteal line while this 12 number 12 is inferior gluteal line there are three lines here while over here this number you can see on the screen this number this 26 this this is look this this thing this you can see on the screen this is rim of acetabulum this part is known as acetabulum while this is rim of acetabulum screen now we will move towards this part this is ischium and ischium contains about six features six bone features to learn this is inferior gluteal line this is posterior superior gluteal line over here while this number 3 is gluteal line. Over here this this is known as sciatic notch. Learn. First of all this this number 14 this this is the istrial spine and this this over here 
this is lesser sciatic notch while this this part this is a rough surface this part this is ischial tuberosity while over here you can see this number 25 this is ramus of ischium this foramen here this is known as obturator foramen and this whole part this whole part is ischium and over here this is the body of ischium this number seven which I considered the sixth feature this is body of ischium over here now we'll study the bone features of pubis this part the part over here this part is pubis over here this round circle in between this this is acetabulum this is acetabulum while over here this rough surface and a deep surface this is known as acetabular notch this is iliopubic eminence this number 11 is iliopubic eminence over here you will move downwards this is obturator crust over here this is obturator crust while this number 20 is obturator groove number 27 is superior ramus of pubis while number 13 is inferior ramus of pubis and this number 24 is pubic tubercle now we will study the bone features of the medial surface of the left hip bone this is now the medial surface many of the bone features are repeated here just like this over here the number 20 and the number 19 and number 2 and number 1 these are repeated uh, like this one is posterior superior iliac spine posterior superior iliac, iliac spine and this is posterior inferior iliac spine like this this number 2 is anterior superior iliac spine and this is anterior inferior iliac spine and this the number 8 over here is iliac crust only a few are more uh, there are only a few more bone features to learn here like this this four part this this is the auricular surface we have to learn they learn these because we have to learn the muscle attachments so if we have learned this proper properly we will learn the muscle attachments properly properly and they will be learned and they can be retained in our mind so this is this number four is the auricular surface and iliac tuberosity these are some things these these two three things are new over here like this this number seven is like sciatic notch this number 12 is ilia is ischial spine and this number 15 is lesser sciatic notch now <clears throat> we will move towards this part this is pubis we will move towards pubis from here to here this is arcuate line <clears throat> while this point over here this 11 this is iliopubic eminence we have learned it in the lateral side of the hip bone the lateral surface this is iliopubic eminence like this this number 9 this is also a new one this is iliac fossa iliac fossa auricular surface and this iliac tuberosity these are some things these these two three things are new over here like this this number seven is like sciatic notch this number 12 is ilia is ischial spine this number 15 is lesser sciatic notch now <clears throat> we will move towards this part this is pubis we will move towards pubis this number 23 this is superior ramus of pubis while this line is pectin of pubis or known as pectial line this over here number 22 this is pubic tubercle while this number 21 this is pubic crust number 14 over here this is ischiopubic ramus ischiopubic ramus and this number 13 over here this is ischial tuberosity this part is ischial tuberosity 
and the rest this part uh, from here to here this part is ischium while this part is pubis and the rest over here this whole part is ilium here there are 11 features in total for the ilium and four bone features for ischium four bone features for ischium and seven bone features about seven four bone features for pubis i have i have not repeated many of the bone features because we have studied it earlier in the lateral surface of the hip bone and this this picture is of left hip bone from above this is just to make the hip bone clear to you to understand the bone features exactly all the features over here are repeated we have studied it before but this is just to make your concepts clear we will start from number one this number one over here you have studied it this is interior inferior iliac spine this number one interior inferior iliac spine while this number two over here this is anterior superior iliac spine inferior iliac spine superior iliac spine now we will move towards number three this line over here this line this is arcuate line this is arcuate line while now we will move towards number four number four is auricular surface the rough surface this is auricular surface number five here this number five this part you can see the number number five number five is iliac crust while number six six this whole part this is iliac fossa now we will move towards number seven number seven is iliopubic eminence over here this is iliopubic eminence this part iliopubic eminence while this is ischial spine number eight is ischial spine number nine is pecten of pubis or the pectial line this is arcuate line this is pectial line now number 10 number 10 is posterior inferior iliac spine and number 11 is posterior superior iliac spine this the part over here number 12 this is pubic crust number 12 is pubic crust and number 13 is pubic tubercle and the bone feature here numbered as number 14 this is tubercle of iliac crust we have already studied all these features before but this is just to make you understand the whole hip bone correctly this is a picture from above from the above side of the hip bone this is the first picture is a while the second picture is b a is the is a picture of the ischial tuberosity from behind of the left hip bone this is all we have we have studied the left hip bone and this is the ischial tuberosity picture of the ischial tuberosity from behind while this b is the hip bone from front this is the front side we will start from picture a look this number two this is over here you can see acetab acetabulum while over here the number three this feature this is ischial spine while this five is lesser sciatic notch and over here six this is longitudinal ridge this over here is longitudinal ridge number 11 is upper part of tuberosity while number 10 is transverse ridge number 8 here is obturator groove while over here this number 9 this is the rim of acetabulum this number 4 here is ischiopubic ramus now look at picture b i am pretty sure you will know all the bone features in picture b over here like this this is rim of acetabulum this number one is acetabular notch this is obturator foramen this number eight here is ischiopubic ramus this number eight is ischiopubic ramus over here and number four this is and here this number nine is obturator crust number nine is obturator crust while number eleven is obturator groove and number 12 is pectin of pubis or pectial line 
Number 14 is pubic tubercle and number 13 is pubic crust. We have learned all these fe bone features in the pictures we have studied but this is just to make yourself clear. You can make it make yourself clear while comparing the bone features learned from the pictures behind with this picture and check whether you have learned all the features or not. Over here this number 7 is ischial tuberosity while number 5 here is iliac fossa. Number 16 is tubercle of iliac crust. Number 3 and 2. Number 3 is anterior superior iliac spine while number 2 is anterior inferior iliac spine. Number 6 over here is iliopubic eminence. I am pretty sure you all must have learned the bone features I just explained to you today in this lecture. Please learn all these because this will help you in the next video of the muscle attachments of the hip bone. Please learn all these bone features properly and as soon as possible. Thank you.